Dear aspirants, in this video, we will see how we can deal with the international places in news, countries in news or areas of conflicts in news. The questions related to these areas, how we can better approach in UPSC prelims. And I will share my experience, like how I was able to reach um, accurately the right answer, taking clues from PYQs. Okay. So you might be having questions in your mind when I'm saying places in news, then I'm referring to current affairs. But when I'm saying PYQs, that means I'm referring to the current affairs of previous years, how it can be relevant. So for this, let me tell you that every current affair has a historical context, every current affair has a historical context. So the current affair which you read this year or this month is not restricted to the th this time alone. So there is a historical context and the it, it has been current affairs for in, in current affairs or uh, for different reasons or the, for the same reason since many years. For example, Ukraine is not in current affair just for the Russia-Ukraine war from 2022. Russia had annexed Ukraine way back in, uh, annexed Crimea, Crimean Peninsula in Ukraine way back in 2014. Syrian civil war is going on from 2011. The Taliban issue which we are studying from 2021, annexation or the occupation of Taliban, occupation of Afghanistan by Taliban, it date backs to uh, 1980s or, or even before that. So, in that regard, um, the, the the issues the the issues in the international uh, arena which has which we witness it is we who are we reading this year but the happenings are the <clears throat> are are the civil wars or whatever the issues which are there in different countries maybe the issue of separatism just like the issues in our country in all in all other places these will these will have some historical context and we more often we can find some clues in upsc pyqs as well so i will tell you how i made use of the pyq or, or the thorough analysis of pyqs help me with dealing with this kind of uncertainty because when it comes to international relations we might not be able to follow all the nations what is going on in chad what is going on in mali so maybe Sudan was more often in news last year. But what's going on in Chad, Guinea, Mali? We might not be that much familiar as with the Sudan. So how UPC is giving clue or how you there is some continuity even in the current affairs questions. I will try to give that clarity in this video. See, first we will see this. This was uh, this this question was asked in 2023. In the recent years, Chad, Guinea, Mali and Sudan why what is the reason that they got the international attention there is something common to all so we know that for, for certain there was some uh, military coups and the civil strife in uh, sudan is it the common thing with chad guinea and mali so if we and um, just one year before this that is in 2022 exactly upsc has asked about chad upsc has asked about guinea so you I, if you had analyzed this question in uh, in in in, uh, in, uh, in more depth then you will easily uh, learn that this is this is the wrong this is the wrong statement that chad setting up of permanent military base by china that is not in chad military base by china in africa there is only in one place that is Djibouti. then again upsc has mentioned about chad and again you UPC has given establishment of Chinese military bases as one of the options. Exactly, it is a repetition of 2022. So, this is not at all an answer, not at all the correct answer. So, Guinea, suspension of constitution and government by military, that is a military coup. So, Sudan, there it was often in news. Chad and Guinea, we got from 2022 paper itself. That means we can easily arrive at the answer as the successful coups even without going to the depth of what is happening in Chad or Guinea or Mali we are able to analyze this question in a better way okay so 
there is one more question uh, regarding the areas of conflict in 2023 there is donbas kachin and tigray so donbas it was an expected area that is it is in U ukraine but how will you learn about this donbas it will be in current affairs of course and they have given syria how, how from where did this syria come so if we if we trace back a bit in 2022 there was a similar question like this and um, ukraine is not in upsc's radar or upsc's basket not only in 2023 but also if you if you keenly observe the 2018 paper there is a crimea crimea has been asked in upsc paper it is crimea is in ukraine so upsc is instigating us to look into the ukraine map learn about the ukraine uh, regions not only with ukraine see here tigray here the wrong option north yemen is given but how i was able to recall about tigray is in 2022 there is amhara 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 is in ethiopia then in 2018 upsc has asked about oromia oromia again it is in ethiopia so collectively when we have <coughs> read uh, the pyq in 2018 and 2022 certainly we get a clue that the regions of ethiopia is in the mind of upsc and in and since 2018 there is continuously civil strife is going on and in if i am not wrong in 2019 prime minister of ethiopia also got nobel prize for settling border issue with eritrea but the civil strife within ethiopia is not settled yet so if you have got this much of clue that upsc is continuously asking about the regions of ethiopia ethiopia is somewhere in in the mind of upsc then you have to look into the map of the ethiopia or the regions of ethiopia mainly amhara has been asked in upsc oromia has been asked so there is somali region tigray in 2023 tigray region is asked so afar region is also there so 2023 tigray region was asked and it would have been very easy to identify this pattern with you uh, uh, with the analysis of pyq so tigray then um e since i have mentioned about this 2022 also see here catalonia was asked in 2022 catalonia is not is not asked in upsc for the first time in 2018 also catalonia was in one of the questions one of the same question the regions which is mentioned in news so catalonia is in spain if you have learned that in 2022 also this option this statement is wrong it is it was very easy to identify this and then there was uh, in 2018 this question uh, uh, it, it, it i am mentioning this for your reference that in 2019 aleppo was in 2018 aleppo was in use mazari sharif so i had made thorough analysis of this kind of uh, uh, th this kind of questions and the regions which have been mentioned in upsc all the options we have to uh, if we have thoroughly prepared then it will directly give us clue to the upcoming prelims so mazari sharif why it is important because india's consulate is placed in mazari sharif so i would recommend that you go through all the places in news or the questions which have been asked in upsc all the places which have been mentioned the countries or the conflict areas or the towns which are outside india so this has to be covered very thoroughly where we get the pointers to the next upcoming prelims and then if we are observing the question regarding the you in 2022 there was this um, question about the afghanistan in 2022 afghanistan was in use because of the taliban takeover on afghanistan so the upsc has asked about the borders with afghanistan if you are analyzing this 2022 paper it is not difficult to predict that upsc might ask about the border areas of border countries of ukraine so uh, an aspirant who has encountered this question who has analyzed this question in 2022 will go back and uh, um, look into the map of ukraine and by heart or uh, observe the countries which are 
sara uh, which are bordering ukraine because russia ukraine war was much in news this is how upsc has given clue in 2022 for the question in 2023 okay let me tell you one uh, show you one more example here in 2023 there is this question which which of the following countries has been suffering from decades of civil strife food shortages and was in news in recent past for its very severe famine so sitting in india it is not very easy for us to know about this african countries very distinctively we cannot distinguish between somalia or sudan unless we know the very detail of what is going on there so when you are in examination hall analyzing these kind of questions becomes very difficult but how previous year question analysis came to my rescue is c in 2022 the similar question was asked here see the third statement some people who fled from civil war in somalia live in the dab refugee complex in kenya so if we have encountered this question so certainly we will know that there is civil war going on in somalia so at least in four of this uh, at least one of these four options become familiar to us that somalia certainly i know that with the previous year and uh, previous year question analysis certainly somalia has been encountering civil strife so i don't have any clue about what's going on in angola or costa rica or ecuador but i have a clue in my mind that something is going on in somalia civil strife is going on in somalia so certainly i will not go for all these three options but i have marked d and luckily my answer was right and the similar question was also asked in 2018 so what i am trying to convey here is so we can reduce some kind of uncertainty we can make use of the previous year questions even for the predicting or handling the questions which are asked from current affairs so this is the idea which have, which i had applied or which had worked in a better way for me and i am sharing this with you thank you